Hi, I'm Bobby Scaife and I'm a singer-songwriter. So I guess I first got into music because my family has a good music taste, I suppose. Um, introduced me to a lot of things like the Beatles and Smiths and a whole host of other things. And uh, so I found something there. And I guess I got influenced by it and decided to write stuff for myself. Leave the true distraction. I saw your best friend's bed and with your ex on Sunday. If I had to describe myself, I'd probably say I'm, I fall under the indie folk branch. Uh, I mean, some of my favourite artists, such as Bonnie Vare and Sufjan Stevens, are a great um, influence on my music. Um, it's, it's certainly similar, at least in the same vein. There's a lot of uh, emotion in there, I suppose. Take it so personally. And so you people's skills are what they used to be. So the EP is called Softly Softly In There and um, it's about, well, I guess, stuff that a lot of people this age can relate to, like going out, especially the morning after, and there's um, a lot of the, the, the troubles and complexities in life that um, people who are just reaching their twenties um, can relate to really. This Ain't You, which um, it took me quite a long time to write really. I had the guitar bit. It was about a year ago. I just couldn't really get the words to it, but um, rather annoyingly, I suppose, it had to be really this kind of shame afternoon. And um, the track kind of wrote itself lyrically. Next one um, is called What We Did Last Night, and um, well, I guess it's about what I did last night, well not last night, but um, a night. I was just kind of a very really descriptive account of uh, a night, and there's things about uh, having a political debate with someone in the queue the club, burning a finger, and just things like that, it's quite a simple folk song. <laughs> songs called I Fell For Everyone, which is about, well I guess in theory it's kind of the sequel to what we did last night, and it's the morning after, it's a really short kind of interlude almost, um, but it's really nice because um, I haven't really played electric guitar for a while, um, but it just seemed right at the beginning of the song, so it was a nice addition, um, it's hardly Dylan Goes Electric, but um, it's a nice um, addition to the EP. Too much again, oh why? Fell for everyone again, oh tell me why? The closer of the EP, as well as the oldest song on the release, is um, it's called The World Is Mine. And uh, well, I guess it's the, the most modest title you'll hear all year. Um, but it was just me waking up one morning, very bit hungover. And, uh, yeah, it was just kind of uh, coming together a load of ideas. It's only two chords, really to the song, um, and just mainly me rambling over um, some music. Um, in terms of the, the title, it comes from Scarface, I suppose. Um, not that it's one of my favourite films or anything, but uh, when the main character um, gets shot off the bug, there's a, a globe that says something to do with the world is yours, um, in me and my state, or the world's mine. So. Again, oh, I just want to be myself again Oh, tell me how, oh, how, how, oh, tell me how Oh, tell me how um, There's another track called Still, which is a very really gentle finger-picked guitar piece um, I've been listening to a lot of Fionn Regan, he's an Irish singer-songwriter and uh, a fantastic guitarist so I really took him from And I'd been listening to um, a Scottish fella called Larkin O'Reilly. He's got a very soft voice. And normally, 
However, like, I did look back a year ago, I had quite a husky voice, but not soft, and I wanted to kind of experiment with that. Um, speak to you. So I applied that, and I had a, I had a really good date last summer, I suppose. Um, it was a really good few lyric ideas that kind of spawned from that, really. You can put that in, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs>